When you want to see something that is so far away that you can't get to it, you send a space observation station. This is exactly what NASA has done by sending the James Webb Space Telescope to deep space, where it will let us see more of our universe. The edge of the cosmos, what will the first telescope be able to observe? Join us as we investigate the startling discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope at the edge of the universe, which has the potential to change everything. Humans have always been curious about the world around them, but as our research equipment has improved, we've expanded our scope to include the cosmos itself. However, the telescope was not invented until 1608, when Dutch spectacle makers Hans Lipprich, Zacharias Johnson, and Jacob Matisse individually built their own telescopes. As Galileo's telescopic observations demonstrate, the impact a tool can have on how we observe and gather information and how we understand the cosmos. While early telescopes were primarily used for earthly observations and tasks, such as surveying and military tactics, Galileo Galilei joined a small group of astronomers who turned telescopes towards the heavens after learning about the Danish perspective glass in 1609. Galileo built his own telescope and demonstrated it in Venice. It is estimated that the distance between us and Proxima Centauri is 25 trillion miles. Considering the vastness of the cosmos, even Elon Musk's Mars colonization project is within striking distance. However, volunteers will have to endure months of space travel before they can set foot on Mars and resume their normal lives. Because the distance is so great, we must turn to telescopes. Thanks to their enormous magnifying power, we've been able to study these celestial bodies in great detail. Galileo would never have imagined that a telescope manufacturer would have such a vast budget or personnel from all over the world, but proponents say it is worth it. The European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency collaborated on the development of this telescope, which will be overseen by the Space Telescope Science Institute. JWST is an infrared telescope with a primary mirror of around 6.5 meters in diameter that was launched in late 2021 on a French Guiana-based Ariane 5 rocket and will serve as a flagship observatory for thousands of astronomers throughout the world for the next decade. A five-layer sun shield that blocks more than a million times the sun's heat is Webb's most notable feature. Instrumentation in the form of telescope sensors, in cameras and spectrometers, are capable of capturing even the tiniest of impulses. Another instrument's mid-infrared detectors can be cooled to a very cold Kelvin with the use of a cryo cooler, allowing it to observe up to 100 things at once with its programmable micro shutters. If our current laws of physics are correct, we can estimate how large the universe must be before it begins to curve. For example, by observing that it is flat on the largest scales and neither positively nor negatively curved to a precision of 0.25. Similarly, we can infer what lies beyond our observable universe using the laws of physics we know and the things that we can measure in our observable world. The Sloan Digital Sky Survey and the Planck satellite provide the best data for our extrapolation. If the universe does curve in on itself and close, it must be at least 250 times the radius of the observable part, which leads to the conclusion that the unobservable universe, assuming any topological weirdness, must be at least 23 million light years in diameter. This volume of space is over 15 million times larger than the volume we can observe, but the two sources do not support this conclusion. But technically, this is the boundary of the observable world, which is known as the opaque universe. As far as what we can see goes, but not as far as what we can fathom, this is the end. This time, we'll venture even further out into the known cosmos. What could possibly exist there now? The edge of the observable universe also marks what is known as the particle horizon. 
the maximum distance one can see into the past. Everything we've seen so far was from the perspective of keeping Earth at the center and scaling time back to the past with distance. What I mean is, because the universe underwent a period of cosmic inflation prior to the hot Big Bang, the smallest physical length scale that the plan had been so small that it could not have been created until after the Big Bang had occurred. This is because the universe is filled with energy inherent to space, rather than matter and radiation, and being hot. How large was the post-inflationary region of the cosmos that produced the hot Big Bang? Secondly, is it right that at least some parts of the universe continue to expand into the future indefinitely? How long did inflation last before the hot Big Bang that followed was unleashed? Inflation may have occurred in a universe smaller than what we can see now, but evidence of an edge to where it occurred may appear in the next year, forcing us to reevaluate our understanding of the universe. Alternatively, there may be many other universes out there following the same physical laws and containing the same kinds of physical cosmic structures as our own. Einstein's theory of general relativity states that the speed of light remains constant no matter how warped space-time becomes as a result of the gravitational pull of objects, like stars or black holes. And this makes sense because the total quantity of the universe in existence is defined by an event horizon, a boundary through which no light can escape, which is constantly expanding in all directions at a rate that is equal to the speed of light. It's possible that if you could step outside the universe and hold everything it contains in your hands, you'd end up with a sphere-shaped object that stays the same size in your hands, even as the contents inside it shift. However, the theory suggests that this is not a problem that can be solved by imagining everything in the universe as some form of object or point of observation. Comment below and tell us what you think the edge of the cosmos will look like. Thanks for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss out on the latest space news. We have another interesting video ready for you. Click on it and we'll take you on the next space adventure.